Hi guys, I've got some clear plastic tubing, a balloon, and I think that's hardboard. I think that's the bottom of an old drawer. I'm going to try and make a barometer, a very basic one. General idea is we put the balloon on the end of the tube with a bit of air in it, some water in the tube and then as the air pressure changes that should vary the pressure in the balloon and it should push the water round the tube. Only we'll have it up on end so we've got gravity helping to hold the water in place. So that's that's the plan. I don't know if that's the right sort of thickness tubing. That's just what I had in the drawer. I must have bought it quite a while ago at Wilco. Aquarium Airline. I've got some much, much thicker tubing. But I'm looking at how much air pressure um, will move the water and on a really thick tube then the distance it moves is going to be a tiny amount. On a thinner tube it's going to push it much further so it should be noticeable. I'm making this up as I go along. I've used a larger balloon than the first one I picked up. I just thought it'd be better to have a larger volume of air trapped in it. I'm just putting some hot glue on here to hold the tube in place. And that's the general idea. It will do something like that. You don't really need several coils there because all we're going to be looking at is the top of the liquid. I'll put some food colouring, I think, in some water and then we've got to figure out how we're going to get it in here because I've already put the balloon on the end. I should probably have put the water in first then put the balloon on. Otherwise we can't get the water into the tube. So I'll have to think about that in a minute. But I'll see if we've got some food colouring to put in some water and then see what we can do. I want that end of the tube up there somewhere and then the rest of this we just need it held in position so that we can watch the level go up and down. I've changed my mind about having the coil there, I've straightened it out so we've just got a straightforward loop. So I'll cut off the excess at the top here. I'll probably have to take the balloon off to get the water in. First of all I'll try just squeezing all the air out of it and then we've got this which we should be able to use to squirt the coloured water in. I'm hoping, yeah, we should be able to get that on the end. Just looking at the balloon, you just see a little bit of air goes in there when I pump that in. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. This actually worked easier than I expected. So I've emptied it out again and I'll show you what I did. So at the moment the tube is empty, I'm going to blow in here just to inflate that a little bit. So we've just got a very small amount of air in there. 
Yeah. Just, just the smallest amount of air. Mixed up a little bit of coloured liquid or water with a bit of food colouring in it. Squirt that in there. And straight away it finds its own level. So what we should be able to do is mark that level now. We don't want to move it because you can see just me moving it makes it go up and down. But we'll mark that level and then see what happens when the weather changes. So I'll have to put this somewhere. We don't want it in direct sunlight because that will affect it. So we'll have to put it to one side somewhere where it's only the air pressure that's going to affect it. I might be able to go and hang it in my hallway because it's got some holes in it already next to our proper barometer. In my hallway that's our existing barometer. So that's saying uh, 30 Point one four, I think thirty thirty point one four, because that's thirty one, so thirty point one four at this moment in time. So if I then put a line there. And well, we'll come back and have a look on another day. And if that's changed, we'll see if that's changed. I guess for the absolute purists, we ought to mention that you do lose air out of balloons eventually, they, they do leak. Uh, a little over time but we just want something rough and ready here to demonstrate air pressure hey thanks for watching there's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases you can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on patreon to buy me coffee you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.